Today's uh, guitar book review is on this one, the Complete Guitar Player Classical Book. Now you may have seen other Complete Guitar Player books, there, there were quite a few of these I think, and there's a whole series of the Complete Guitar Player which were for steel string acoustic. And when I first started playing these were everywhere, just everywhere you looked you'd see one of these books, they were just all over the place. Uh, and I had several of the steel string ones I think. And I think there might have been some electric ones, some rock versions of it as well. Um, this one I didn't have at the time, years ago, I just got this more recently from somewhere, I'm not sure where this came from. Um, but it's a, it's a few years old and one way I can tell that apart from it's slightly yellowed, uh, one way I can tell it's a few years old is because it, it came with a record, now the record's not in here, you can see where it's been pulled out. But I sort of vaguely remember some of these books having like a kind of a plastic, um, or plasticky looking sort of flimsy um, vinyl record. Uh, the fact that it came with a record ages it. It's got to be, you know, mid eighties or earlier probably. Uh, anyway, it, uh, I've had a look through it, and it, it's pretty good. It, it, it's designed for someone that hasn't played classical guitar before, but I think it's written with, um, in with people that maybe play other styles of guitar and want to have a go at classical. I think it's written with those people in mind. It doesn't specifically say that. Uh, and you could just be a complete beginner guitarist uh, and use this, but I, I get the impression with it, it's more for someone that plays a bit of steel string guitar and they want to have a go at classical. It's written by Russ Shipton, who I think he wrote the, I recognize his name, I think he wrote some of the other guitar, complete guitar player books, maybe all of them. Uh, so, yeah, it's pretty good. I think if you looked at a complete guitar player steel string book or rock book, and I'll have to get some of those to review. Uh, I think now if you looked at those, they seem very outdated just because of the material. Whereas with the classical stuff, that doesn't really happen because the kind of things you get in a brand new classical book that's published in 2021, they'll be the same kind of tunes that you'll get in one published in the 1980s or in the 1950s. They're going to be the same sort of tunes because a lot of them are sort of 19th century um, guitar composers and that anyway, so they're, the music's old already. Uh, and this, this book's good though, I've, I've had, a, had a look through it and it, I wouldn't say it's the best beginner's classical book. Um, it, it covers quite a lot of stuff, but um, my criticism of a lot of these books has been that there's, there's too much, for beginners, is there's too much detail and too much time spent on different things. I think this is the opposite. Uh, I think it would have been better if it didn't contain quite as much stuff or didn't have as wide a, a range um, and take you quite so far down the road of the playing classical guitar. Uh, uh, concentrate more on the real beginner's end and then put more into this. I think that might have been useful. But having said that, it'd be great if you used it with other books as well. So, you know, you start off learning how to read the music and simple open string exercises to develop your technique. Then you get into some actual proper tunes, which are quite good, because you know, they're real tunes that, that sound nice, but they're really easy. Some quite clear photos of finger position and things in here. Uh, but it kind of jumps into everything a little bit quickly, I think. Uh, and then it moves on, and straight away you're, you're talking about scales and keys and things. and uh, then you've got something to play which is considerably harder than the ones that were a couple of pages earlier. So it jumps through a lot of stuff, maybe a bit too quickly. Um, if the same book was maybe three or four times longer, uh, then you know you could, so you could do a lot more on each thing, then I think that might be better. But yeah, it's, a, it's a small criticism, it's still a good book. So. Conclusion on this one, Complete Guitar Player Classical Book by Russ Shipton, is it's probably not the best beginner's classical book, but it's it's still pretty good. And if you see a copy somewhere, you probably can't buy it new anymore. You might be able to. Uh, but if you, you see a copy and, and you want to have a go at classical guitar, especially if you already play a bit of um, steel string or electric guitar, and you want to delve into classical a little bit, then I think it's a good one, uh, but just not the best one. Okay, thanks.